Latest reports on inflation show as of March, consumer prices are continuing to increase, which means interest rates are likely not to be cut. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live in studio after breaking down the numbers on where it's hitting us the hardest. That's right, and I spoke with people locally who say inflation is still burning a hole through their wallets. The prices are definitely um, increasing and the grocery bill that we have each week is going up and up and up. So, you know, things have been uh, a little bit more challenging. Inflated prices seem to be a never ending challenge for consumers across the country and right here in the state. And there's no sign of it stopping, according to the latest consumer price index, beating expectations with a 3.5 percent increase as of March. Over the last 12 months, food prices have increased by about 2 percent, with meat, fish, poultry and eggs continuing to climb. Energy also seeing increases. Gasoline is up by roughly 1 percent, electricity at 5 percent. And as for shelter, it saw an increase of nearly 6 percent. Economic experts say because of the higher inflation, it is less likely that the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates anytime soon, impacting borrowers nationwide. According to economic reports, it was anticipated that the Federal Reserve would begin cutting interest rates this summer, but is now likely to be pushed into September. In the meantime, local consumers say they will do what they must to get by. Budgeting is, you know, just what you have to do now if you want to balance, you know, groceries and all the other things that you might possibly need in your life. You got to work a little bit more, but you got to eat. What are you going to do? Prices did fall in other areas between February and March, in particular for new and used vehicles. Breaking for you tonight, Christina DeMores, 22 News.